So we're here with Advert Tima here, and it's uh, it's doing an interesting shape on my face, and it can analyze and say I'm 32 years old. I'm nearly 32. That's great. So it's very accurate. And you showing 26, 22. All right, you're 22 years old. Yeah. All right, that's what it says. All right, that's cool. So hello. So who are you? Ah, uh, I'm Iman. I'm uh, one of the co-founders of Advertima, and this is Chris, also co-founder. Exactly. Awesome so, uh, this is just one of the things you do? You can detect how old people are? Yeah, I mean, basically what we uh, try is to create a, um, an artificial intelligence that we're working on, which analyzes the current situation in front of an installation, which can be a screen like we have here. Um, and then, based on this information, it decides how, what yeah. content do I have to show to create a personalized and positive experience for the people in front. So this a um, this is this a technology kind of like is it open source or not? How um, to uh, detect age? Yeah, I mean it's our there are our you did own it, uh, yeah. algorithms. Yes, exactly. At the moment we have age and gender, but the next step which we'll have in summer is emotions uh, tracking, clothes tracking, and as well as eye contact with the screen. Really? Yeah. No eye tracking, no. Eye tracking at the moment, not yet, but okay. after we will have if, if someone, act, someone actually looked at the screen. You could have an IRB mirror, and then the idea is you want to put advertising for that person. Yeah, I mean, we are not an advertising company, but it's one of the use cases um, where we can where we actually implemented it already. So it's basically a decision making process, real time decision making process. Uh, based on this information, it will decide what's going to be the next clip on this screen. Like men's toilet because here we have we are um, like four guys now at the moment. Yeah. Shows content for men. Nice. That's 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 actually amazing, no? Yeah. It's. I mean, it's great. Have, because anybody is doing this or not? I mean, there are companies trying to do it, but uh, we we defined another process now, a new process, uh, which is like tracking, persona analysis, and then the targeting. And this this is like a unique way how we do it. And, now we are talking about screens, but the next output sensors will be speakers, lights, and even smell machines to create a multi-sensory experience. So, uh, are you 59? No. No? That is not far, maybe. Uh, less, less. 53. 53. Okay, maybe you need to be in the middle of the... <laughs> it's getting right. better. Look, now it's coming down. <laughs> All right. So, um, so th there's, there's huge potential in using display uh, targeted the right way to the right people exactly and I mean dynamic exactly in real time um, what we have online already for years now is uh, going to come also now into the real world but we're also working with banks we also have a case for uh, people flow management it's for example in a train station where you have a lot of people so the signaletics the signs adapt to the amount of people so also to increase safety within a train station or an airport but I think it'd be great. You just walk around and it kind of like gives you advertising that's like a little bit like Google is trying to optimize advertising. Optimizing the display advertising is very important. Exactly, exactly. So you really just receive this information that is interesting for you. Because studies show that more than 80% of the content that we see on a daily basis is not relevant for us. And that's why we start to ignore this content and also miss information that could be interesting for us. Is there any chance that you can uh, in the future potentially have a global system or a national system that where people can uh, uh, approve that they would get even like personal even yeah. more and then you will have face recognition for some people who, have, yeah. who allow you to do it yeah. they would get actually personalized to, yes. their, to themselves we already have the case actually because um, we are working with a Swiss shopping center and there we also implement the app and in the app, you can uh, upload your profile picture and decide and agree that you will be recognized by your person, by your image. And then you have another open window and a lot of uh, possibilities because you can really target this specific person and retarget it again. And we're also connecting it to the website and the newsletter. So also the website is dynamic and the newsletter is dynamic and personalized just for you. So based on your movements within the shopping center, you will receive afterwards, after the visit, um, a newsletter that is really the stuff that you're actually interested in. So through the whole customer journey. Are you a Swiss company? Yes, we and are a Swiss uh, startup. We just started 12 months ago. 
we grew from four to 28 people now 28. already. Yes, yes. So some people really like this idea. Yes, definitely. I mean, we, we just started the some business development two months ago and we are talking to a lot of big companies, banks, um, of course, also advertising, uh, advertising industry, but we are a software company. We um, want to de develop the software, improve it, and then it can be used by many other companies. But right now industry. here, it looks like an Xbox system here. Uh, maybe you should develop a specific camera, we hardware. Have, we have. We just have the Xbox camera here for the showcase. Because you have your own hardware. Yeah, we are, we are not producing hardware, but we are in an early stage still as a startup. We have already the customers, but what we are trying to now to play with different um, hardware, because in the end it should be a plug and play solution. So we want that it's going to be possible to connect any camera. It's important to have a 4K high resolution so you get a lot of detail. Uh, and you need a fast CPU arm. Yes, exactly. Arm you need a lot of Especially uh, GPU. So GPU. Yeah. yeah. So NVIDIA so. is a good solution. Maybe the X1 or X2. The 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 Jetson TK, TX. You try these? Actually, we are not the techies in the company, but uh, I guess um, we are we are up to date about uh, every hardware that is um, available on the market. But um, what we also know to, to get back to your question, if you use 2D cameras, we need more power, more better GPUs. So we are uh, working all together with uh, NVIDIA. It's good to have a, a 2D, uh, two cameras. It helps to have a two cameras, a 3D kind of system. Or? Yeah, we are working right now um, um, on a system that uses different uh, 2D cameras to um, to make a 3D picture out of it, out of it, and you get the best result. You get the average of whatever this camera thinks and the other one, and then you get maybe more accurate age, maybe. Actually, th this is not uh, what we do. Um, okay. But the estimation is um, how many? I think 10 estimations per second are done. Nice, cool. So looking forward to uh, better advertising everywhere, right? Exactly. It's going to be great. Okay.